hello one hello all sim reaper here welcome back to the channel welcome back to cow farms uh, i've had to actually start again uh, not sure how or why but a few pe a few um, pieces of equipment and vehicles vanished and some uh, buildings vanished so i decided to start again um, i did record start recording on the on the old save but for some reason um, I lost that footage as well which didn't help but anyway we're gonna start fresh um, but yeah on the on the old one this disappeared um, this did here um, all these sheds up here they, they're all just vanished basically and I was kind of confused as to why so we're gonna do something a little different now normally I'll go through all the equipment, sell what I don't like, and that'll be that. But I think we're going to do something different. I'm actually going to keep the equipment. Um, and, yeah. Now, technically, I don't own that. Although, I should. But even though I don't own it, I can actually use it. Which makes no sense whatsoever, but... I because I, I have like full access to this which is weird but I have plenty of food in there and some straw so there's that but what we need to figure out is what we've got planted on the fields we own so we've got 20 19 and 30 now 30 isn't a field per se um, I'm pretty sure um, that's yeah that's the sheep the sheep barn so we can at least um, make wool with the sheep uh, how many have we got in here oh 1,000 out of 2,000 so yeah you can make quite a lot of uh, sheep actually um, so we're gonna need a trailer to fit the sheep to fit the wool because that f that fills up really quick that's something i've noticed um then obviously you've got we've got the pickup uh we've got one of the harvesters uh, that's the 8900 lexian but i need to move that header because it's kind of blocking the entrance way no get back in i need to sort out my settings No, we'll go easy. I'm, I'm, I'm after a bit of a, a fun one. I've got a hard one with the, oh dear, um, with uh, No Man's Land. So this one's just going to be good fun. Lots of cows. Right, so let's pick you up. put it uh, back here out of the way I think it's a bit of a pain to come and get it but at least it's not in the way and then we'll go put this back If I remember rightly, we start with two harvesters on here. Now, this one's obviously um, fo going to focus on the corn, because it's got a corn header. Although, I think I have uh, uh, two headers for each of the, um, for the, for the crop as well. So we've got this thing, which is subsoil, if I remember rightly. Now, uh, that I will be getting rid of. Uh, I don't need this. Um, so there will be a couple of bits of, uh, of the, the equipment I will get rid of and replace. Um, 
the stone collector, obviously I've turned field stones off because it's just annoying. Um, so I'm not going to be <laughs> keeping the stone collector. And considering I'll be using my favourite plough, I won't need this either. But I'm going to try and keep most of the equipment. Um, and we'll see where we go. Uh, I'm not going to be putting a silo down like I did last time. Uh, we'll do it all through bales. Um, like you would anyway. Um, because I actually figured that um, the, the machine, the one that's in the cow shed. Uh, the mixer is actually a self-propelled mixer and it's actually relatively simple to uh, mix uh, mi mix the total mix ration in that machine um, so that's what I'm going to do just mix it in there but we do we need hay we need straw and we need silage. Um, good, good. Right. So they're the two bits that we don't need right now. Right, what I need to do is figure out what needs what. Um, so let's see, we've got all that's ready to harvest that's ready to harvest oh we don't own 20 it's 20 and 19 that's ready to harvest or 13 and 15 um, and then obviously that's the sheep pasture so we need to figure out what's going on down here 15 needs plowing but 13 is technically not a field And I need to figure out what's planted in 15. So I'll drive down there in a short moment. I don't think there's any pigs, is there? No, there's no pigs. Good. Um, oh, we don't. I don't think we even own that, do we? No, we don't. Right. Um, let's see. So the first job's going to be figuring out what we're doing with this, and that probably needs harvesting as well. Now, do we have anything for um, mowing? Ha, huh, weird. We don't actually have anything to mow with. Okay. So, how much do we have? Uh, 204. Uh, honestly, I think just buying a mower would be the best way to go about it. Or I could go for, yeah, that might be a better idea. Um, because I'm going to need hay anyway. But I want to do hay properly. So um, I'll go with my favourite. Um, I'm just going to lease it. But we're going to go standard colours, standard wheel setup. And that'll do now for mowing. That's good. I've got to take it down to the field. So we'll go see what's planted in field 15 while we're down there. Right, so we're just coming up to uh, field 12, which is on the left here. And then our plot is just here. So this is going to be our grass plot now. I don't think course play will work on here because I don't think it's classed as a field. Yeah, see, it's not classed as a field. Now, I could turn it into a field if I wanted to. Um... got to remember how to do it I'm 
there draw a custom field so I could go like this like that and then it could it will treat that as a field so uh, first things first oh <laughs> Joysticks. Yeah, seriously, how unprepared can somebody be? There we go. I mean, I'm so, I'm, I'm no I'm no professional. <laughs> not by any means right so what I want to do now is I want to go like this uh, open course generate and hopefully don't crash my game there we go So the first way playing uh, and then I want to go swath dropping right. so perfect because obviously we're gonna need grass uh, we're gonna need silage now I want to go down to field 15 and see what we've got planted down there because I may need to get the harvester down in and by the look of it, it's barley. Oh no, it's soybeans. Perfect. I don't know why I thought that was barley. But it's soybeans, so that's good because soybeans will make us some money. Although I'm pretty sure we've actually we actually start with a, a few different bits and pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. So we start with forty-five thousand liters of wheat, thirty-four thousand liters of barley, fifty-two thousand liters of oat. 30,000 litres of canola, 34,000 litres of soybeans, and 25,000 litres of corn. So July, July, December, January, January, January. And we're in August, so January will come up. Right, so what I want to do is get this guy going. First waypoint off your pot. That'll start that, and then I'm going to need one of my harvesters. Which one am I going to use? Honestly, having two harvesters is a bit... I just don't see the point in having two of them. Um, but that that's an 18,000 litre harvester, which is pretty nice. And it can collect soybean, so... That's not too bad. Right, what header do I have for that? Uh, I think it's the one in here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think that's its header. Which is not bad. See, the thing is, um, like I said, I want to try and use as much of the of much as much of the equipment as possible rather than just selling it all like I normally do uh, but I think I'll keep that for the corn because I love them folding headers so I think I'll use that for corn and then I'll use the other one um, for what's it called now oh we've got the big plow I don't really like using the big plows but we'll give it a try um, like I said, I'm going to try and use as much of the normal equipment as possible. So I want to get this guy. Uh, I'm going to use him for arable crop. Um, oh, I'll get rid of the corn header. Because like I said, I'm going to use this guy mainly for arable crop. And then I'll use 
the other one for um, for the corn. Oh, what? Why can't you pick it up? Oh, I'm not allowed it properly. There we go. Right, so let's go put this header in. There's no point in having two crop headers and two um, thingy headers. Well, I mean, I guess the point would be that I could uh, double down on the uh, on the harvesters, but I only do that on very large fields. Right, so that's the header sold. Now I need to get this guy down uh, down to field 15. So that's the next job get the harvester down to field 15, get started on the harvesting and then I want to get rid of the spare header if I have one, yeah it's there, the red one, get rid of that spare header and it's trailer if it's got one and then after that um, I will jump in a tractor in order to come to start collecting the crop I'll have to empty this out. I'll also need um, a baler as well. Eventually I'll need three, but um, what I'll do is I'll get one and then I'll just have to reset it after every use in order to uh, get rid of what's inside it basically. Because if I need to do hay or I need to do straw, you know, I'm going to have to do it again. Oh, he's stuck somewhere. What? Oh, right, did I make the field too big? It's fine. I'll I'll just do it myself. Um, I'll leave it there. Let's get this uh, get this down and it's to be harvested. Um, eventually, I'll I'll make an actual. I, I, what I'll do is I'll make an actual field on there. Uh, I'll need a small plow to do the outline. So, I need to put this head somewhere. Just put it along here. I did not need to run into the tree. field of soybeans to harvest. It might be a good idea to run two on this actually, it looks pretty big. I mean, like I said, I normally don't run two harvesters, but if the field's big enough I will. Plus it saves time, you know, it is, it is actually a lot faster to run two. get it unfolded and then we'll get a course set up right. course play field work Multiple tools, one headline should be enough.
this event. Where the start is. Oh, 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 I'm killing the crop in. Uh, and then your left. First waypoint, off you pop. Right, and then we'll go grab the other harvester. This header in here. Spin that wheel. sense that it has less space than the other ones, but, you know. If I remember rightly, this one is a draper. Well, one thing I will be doing is replacing the trouble trailer. Absolutely. Only because I just don't like Back truck. It's a good truck, but you know, it doesn't do what it needs to do. So. Let's get this down to Ziffield. Get it started. We've already got the first one running. This one has a smaller capacity, so this one should stop before the first one. Eventually I'll replace these with you know, my, my favourite one, but I'm not going to do that straight away. Enjoy all these, uh, all the equipment. All right, so we're at the field. We have some space. We get the second half is the moving. The draper folded. Now I need to jump into the first one in order to grab. Waypoint. Why does it do that? It's so weird. I need to fix that to be honest. It's, it's kind of frustrating. But there you go. Now he's, he folds that away when he unfolds. It's like, I really need to sort himself out. Oh, there he goes, and he's off. Okay. So that's both of our harvesters on the move. Now, what I want is this needs to go into the store. I mean, the trailer's okay, I guess, but not the truck. Uh, anyway, how much, what's this trailer's capacity? Uh, da -da 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 -da. 51,000, which isn't too bad, and that's 31, 37, which is also not too bad. But what I really want is an auger wagon, and I want a proper truck and trailer. So we're going to sell these when they're actually in the right location. I wish there was actually like a target box that showed you where it was. Ew. There we 
go. So, sell that. Sell that. And I want to grab. Uh, where is it? Uh, I was thinking of grabbing like one of these because these are pretty cool. I mean, the capacity is not very large. Um, you can go for a 21. Uh, and then you've got the older style here as well. Uh, it's got 21 meters cubed. Um, but I was, then I, I thought it'd be better to do an Argo wagon. I love how, uh, how good that looks. It's only a 300 horsepower truck, but it still looks really nice. 600 horsepower. No. But in the end, because this one's also a good one. 49,000 litres. It's a five wheel. And considering we've got an 18,000 litre and a 14,000 litre harvester, that would be pretty much perfect for, you know, just empty them both, dump it into where this takes it, where it needs to go. Um, yeah, I think I will actually, because I'd like, I'd like to try something different, because I'm always using the same equipment. So let's go black because that's the colour I just normally go for uh, and then we'll go a bit darker yeah I'll do uh, that's expensive so I'm going to lease it rather than buy it and then I just need an auger wagon now um, I do have a few modded ones as well um, there's this one which is a 27 to 35 which is nice and what 18 and 14 so that's what 18 28 that's 32 so that should be enough to empty them both which is perfect it's only 27 so we'll grab that right so what I want to do first is one's going to be the best for this let's have a look at the tractors that we own we have th three large so we have a 374 a 396 and a 355 uh yeah we'll use the, we'll use the terror i think the terror will be the best one for the job come on So yeah. All right, so let's get this down to the field, and uh, we'll set it up to empty the harvesters and then we'll get the truck down to the field as well and then uh, <coughs> we can start um, cutting the grass as well alrighty so we're going up on the field and we both stop back here uh, I did sort out um, this field to change the way well I changed the shape of it hopefully um, the mower won't get stuck again. I tried to make the field a bit smaller. So let's go empty these two. And then we'll bring. Um, well, I'll empty this one on my own because I'm here. And then, as soon as that's done, I'll get this to do it automatically and I will go pick up the truck. Be 
do. up to the area or da down to the area I do like this thing it is a nice uh, it's a nice model pretty good mod does not do well on uh, oh, missed a turn there, man. it does not do well on uh, like grass and stuff when you're trying to drive <laughs> uh, full, fully loaded so to keep in mind. It's quick though. It handles pretty well as a two. Let's get that cover open. Stop. I forgot to say. Come on, it's that hard. Where are you going? Uh, oh, no, it's there. Uh, I have to do that one. And then I'll grab the other one as well. I knew we'd get trapped on something. Honestly. It's fine, I just need to uh, be patient and then once they've done the, the outside, it'll be fine. Right, so first, let's get you set up to unload. Um, and then just get you really far out. Oh well. Um, as long as you're running now, I'm not, I'm not too fussed. Um, so, now I just need to make sure that he comes and empties into this. Which it looks like he's doing. Good. Yeah, I probably could have done two headlamps rather than one. But it's fine. Alright, yeah, so he's emptying into me, which is sweet. And I'm going to call it for this episode. So, if you like what you see, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if you 
caught any background noise, I do apologise. Uh, kids are on holiday, so you'll probably hear them in the background. And uh, yeah, any comments, please feel free. I, I will do my best to answer any comments you have. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again next time.